of any this entire NFL season. First off, we have the Ravens minus three at the Tennessee Titans. Fun fact, Donnie Sengstack's parents got vaccinated to go to this game. What? They Donnie lives in, in Nashville right now. His, his mom's a professor at Vanderbilt. So, and they're all diehards Ravens fans. So they got vaccines so they could go. That's incredible. Yeah, it's safe. They can do it. And they're going to be cheering on their inexplicably favored Ravens against Tennessee Titans. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This gives me flashbacks to last year. Um, side, I mean, I have the tables turned. I don't know. Because the Ravens are kind of getting hyped right now. Like, I would love the Ravens in this situation if they were the underdog. I can't believe that Vegas is giving, what, six points to six narrative? Yeah. Like, I think, you know, given home team advantages, you know, Tennessee should probably be favored by three here. That's six points for the narrative. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so... I, I don't really know which way to go in this game. I'd probably take the over because Tennessee is an over. Like they just hit over every single week. It's at 54 and a half, I believe. Um, but yeah, as far as which side to take, it's tricky. Very tricky. Yeah, I think you tie the Tennessee money line with the over. Okay. And that's like a plus 230 bet. So that seems just like good value. Make it a small unit play. But there is a player prop in this game that I like quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I like r- any Ryan Tannehill over in this game. Yeah, I have one of those. His yardage over is 237.5. It's moved actually overnight to 234.5. Wow. His over on touchdowns, one and a half is minus 105. And you, you guys can tell I have some Ravens fans in my life. This entire season, all I've heard is these Ravens fans bitching about their secondary. They said <laughs> the past defense is awful. I've seen them give up yards through the air to pretty consistently. So, yeah, Ryan Tannehill, those are very good lines for him. I love them. I agree. Those are, yeah, that's pretty low in 230 range for a quarterback that typically throws. I would guess in the high 200s. I guess maybe they're anticipating a Derrick Henry game, but the Ravens are also anticipating a Derrick Henry game and they're going to be stacking the box, which will open up throwing lanes. I took a different Ryan Tannehill over. I took Tannehill over 16 and a half rushing yards. Oh, boom. Book that. Yeah. he uh, The last three weeks of the season, he rushed for 21, 55, and 38 yards. And last time he played against the Ravens in week 11, he ran for 35 yards. And I think now that it's playoff time, it's like any any um, time where he might have protected his body during the regular season, that time has passed. He's going to run for first downs on third down. He's going to use his legs if he has to. He's a pretty mobile guy. Um, so, yeah, let's go all over on, on Tannehill. Yeah, do the t- Tannehill trifecta, anything he has and. In- the more seeing us talk about Ryan Tannehill, it's kind of steering me towards the Titans in this game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, the tit- that's the thing though, is the Titans defense is awful. So this could just be a back and forth all yeah. game long. This game is going to be so high scoring. I think I advise the over completely. And I advise the over on the Tennessee passing game across the board. Meanwhile, we have across the way, I love the J.K. Dobbins over rushing yards, 61 and a half. If he's hit this five of the past six weeks, Mm -hmm. he's becoming more and more a part of an offense. Like, you know, that Jonathan Taylor narrative that you push, this Mm -hmm. is the poor man's version of that. Yeah, I agree. I have the same exact pick. No, I do. He's averaged 83 yards in the last six games, double-digit carries since week 11. And yeah, like we were just saying, Titans' defense is very bad. And the Ravens have shown when they've gotten hot, you got to run the ball. And I'm sorry for that ding. Um, Donnie Sengstack's watching right now, 
And he says that the under on Ryan Tannehill attempts could be a good way to go because he hasn't thrown more than 33 passes in a Titans regulation win since week three. Okay. So, so he thinks the Titans are going to win. He thinks the Titans are going to win, and he thinks Tannehill will go under 33 and a half passing attempts. So that's a little hat tip from Don. So okay. do you have a, a Ravens prop for us? I had the J.K. Dobbins one. Same oh, thing. Oh, oh, we just agreed there. Yeah. Great points think alike. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little distracted because Donnie was giving me that pick. So forgive me there, Stephen. All good. 